Have you ever wondered, it would be really awesome if I could integrate actual video on my prototypes or also have really cool animations with Lottie? Then this is awesome for you because Adobe XD just a few days ago released the ability to do both of those things. Now, for all of Adobe XD's faults, the biggest one being the inability to change the canvas background color. Hey, Adobe, go ahead, get on that, do it already. This is a big step forward, I, and it unlocks many possibilities. So today, I'm going to show you how to create that prototype that you saw at the beginning with the video, with the Lottie animations, the micro animations, and much more. So as always, make sure to subscribe and let's get started. Oh, also, if you're interested in UI UX design, then you definitely need to check out designcourse.com. Now, at the current time of watching this, uh, it is not available just yet. I'm working on finishing it actively. So make sure to enter your email to be notified when it releases. But in short, it is the robust way, the most robust way to learn UI UX design. Please check out designcourse.com just to learn more. Play the free interactive game and you can see what it's all about. All right, everybody, let's get started. So this uh, file, I'm going to make available. In fact, if I don't do it now, I'm not going to remember. I'm going to save this as um, we'll just do, I don't know, John Doe video, whatever. <laughs> this is going to be the before version and I'll make this available in the YouTube description. You can download it and follow along. All right. So what we, this is, this is a layout that I actually designed, um, on a live stream yesterday. So I'm going to link that here. I uh, maybe put a little card up in this video. If you want to see me design this from scratch, this is actually kind of like a redesign from some a user submission essentially. Now, this design, it's cool and all, the structure's all there, but we can make it a lot cooler um, utilizing the new video feature from Adobe XD. All right, so what we want to do first is find a video. Um, and then secondly, you need to have somewhere to put the video in your layout. Sometimes it's a full screen background. Sometimes it might be a video player. We're going to do that as well. Um, but this is, this is where we're going to put a video like right here. So some considerations when it concerns finding video that is going to have important type overlapping it. Like for instance, over here, over here, all this stuff you have to ensure the contrast is there. Uh, if the contrast isn't there, people aren't going to be able to read the type. So you, you really need to be mindful of the type of uh, video that you're using. Also, you don't want video that uh, has too much movement in it. Um, fortunately, there's a great resource, it's free. It's called pexels.com forward slash video. And we're going to use two different videos from that resource. Um, this is the one we're gonna use here. Um, so pexels.com forward slash video, type in space, scroll down a bit, you'll find this video. Um, I, I'm also going to link it. Uh, and yeah, I mean, very cool looking video, uh, video sequence here. Um, as you can see, it's like, I don't know, 15 seconds or so, no, 30 seconds. And another consideration, there's a limitation. You can't have a video that's, I. Uh, larger than 15 megabytes in XD. It won't let you import it. So we had to go down to the full, uh, just the HD version, the 1280 by 720. Make sure you click download. Once you have that downloaded into a folder somewhere, you can then just drag it on top of the element uh, that you wish to place. So I'm gonna drag that right there. Now we can see it. So clearly it's a darker video, so it works with the light type that's sitting on top of it. So there's no issues in terms of um, contrast. If there were, you might, you might wanna do something like create an additional um, rectangle on top of it, same exact size, make it black, and then drop the opacity down. That, that way you'll be able to uh, <clears throat> increase the contrast and vice versa if you're on a light theme. So um, let's go ahead and see what happens, uh, if we just click play, this is what's gonna happen, nothing. But because by default, it's not set to play. So we have to double click into it. You can see it's a now a mass group five. So if we double click it and, and then double click one more time, we'll get access to the video itself. And you can see we have a new setting, video play on tap. We don't want that, we want play automatically. We can also click over here to gain access to the ability to trim it, to reduce the, the, the length. Um, and also mute it. I'll mute it just in case there is sound. I don't think there is. And also loop playback, which we want. 
And that's it. So we go ahead to click play, and there we go. It works nicely, just like that. All right, so let's say for instance, when somebody clicks watch um, or hovers over it, um, we have an animation play, like an arrow icon. Um, that really hasn't been too possible. Um, I mean, it is, but using like a Lottie animation, which really unlocks a lot of possibilities. Lottie animations, if you don't know, uh, they are, uh, if we go to LottieFiles.com, there are some amazing animations. I've, I've actually done uh, tutorials on this. So you can do a channel search um, about Lottie Files and um, search for animations. So if I do like right arrow or something like that, we'll see all these animations um, that we can use. Um, we're gonna use this one actually. And, but you can go through all these. Uh, there's free ones and there's paid ones as well so people can make money. You could perhaps make money by selling these on the marketplace uh, at LottieFiles.com. Um, and so let's use this one. So um, before we get to that part, however, there is a Lottie Files plugin and, and this just released as well. So uh, you wanna make sure you go to your plugin section, click plus up here, search for Lottie Files. It is right there. You will have to log in first um, and obviously create a free account at LottieFiles.com. Then you can log in and then you'll see uh, kind of a search area where you can also search for these animations as well that you can just drag right in. All right, so I've been told some of them for some reason don't work uh, properly. Uh, probably from LottieFiles.com, uh, but that's just obviously a limitation, but this one will work. So we're gonna click on this one right here. And again, I'll try to remember to link this. And what's cool is if it doesn't have the correct colors and stuff that you need, we can, let me make this larger. We can come to edit layer co colors. So this opens up an editor and we can then specify the colors um, that we need. So it's gonna be sitting right here. There's nothing behind it or whatever. So, and I believe, I think if I wanna say it's going to be um, transparent, but we'll see. Um, just in case, just in case not, we're gonna grab this color code. I'm gonna bring that back. And then I'm going to paste the background color right there. There we go. And then we want this to, uh, we don't want it to be white. We want it to be this kind of a uh, primary color right here, this purple. And then we will take the grouped color right here and change this and hit update. There we go. So that's how you can control the colors of the Lottie animations. And of course, you might have more options depending on how many colors that the author created. So then what we could do is we can um, end up downloading this and we can click this button and we have a JSON file and that's what a Lottie animation essentially is, it's a JSON file. Uh, so now what I can do is create, let's go back to our layer view, I can create a kind of like a, a, a container that it will go in and I can drag that JSON file right on top of there. Now of course we don't see it because for this particular Lottie animation it starts out being just blank, uh, empty, it's an empty frame. So that's why we don't actually see it at this point in time. Uh, but we could double click into it and gain access to, it's very similar to the video option, but it is changed. This is just a loop option, it's not for options. And then we have play automatically, play on, um, on tap. We can also edit playback, which switches us to the prototype view. We want it to animate on hover when we hover over this watch button area. So in order to get that working correctly, just to show you out of the box, like uh, what we have uh, access to, if we double click into this, um, play automatically. A known limitation, you cannot play automatically a Lottie file and a video at the same time. The Lottie file will not animate. It's a known limitation, it's, it's in the documentation. Um, hopefully they can fix that or make it so we can do that, but no big deal. Um, play on tap, for instance, so if we hit play and we just click in this invisible area right here, we can see your Lottie animation, very cool. So uh, what we can do, if we want to on hover, drag this out to the size of the watch button, essentially. Now inside of here, we can see we have our um, actual size of the 
animation. I'm going to scale it down because I know it's going to be pretty big. I'm going to put it like right here. And that should be good. We can make adjustments if need be. And then what we can do is we could take this mask group right here and we can right click. Uh, we can make it or not right click rather click uh, come over here and click I uh, make component so that gives us the default state and the ability to also add another state as a hover state all right and then we can add and switch to the prototype section and for our default default state on hover and we could trigger auto animate hover state all right and then I uh, will switch back to our design section we, if we click on hover state we can then gain access to that Lottie animation coming up here. We'll click on it, and then we're gonna change it to play automatically. And this is in the hover state. Also under default state, so we take our component, click on default state, gain access to the Lottie animation. We wanna adjust that as well um, so that it is on play automatically and not play on tap. All right, so both of them should be play automatically under hover state as well. And I'm gonna move this over here slightly just to get it closer. And I'm gonna remember that X position right there. We're gonna switch back over here to hover state and I'm going to make the same adjustment real quickly. And it should be, okay, it is the same. All right, so now what we can do is hit play and there we go. So we have our nice little Lottie animation like that. All right, so now let's say for instance, just so we can have more you know, fun with Lottie animations, we click watch, that'll launch like a, a little loading animation and then that'll transition to a new vi video preview just to show you some more um, prototyping interaction uh, in with Lottie. So what we could do is we could take this, replicate it, and let's get rid of everything inside of here. We're gonna make the background black and this is gonna be an overlay. So it's gonna be on top of this element. And so that means we can drop down the, uh, the opacity, maybe at around 80%. Uh, so it's gonna darken this screen. And then we're going to have another Lottie animation. Um, and I already downloaded this one from LottieFiles.com. And I've drug it here on the, um, the frame or the layout. And so you can see that it has our, our same color scheme. So I use the editor and then just drag this one right on. So if I um, click this, double click in here, play automatically. If we click play, you'll see it. Real nice animation, I love it. So then um, what we could do is switch to prototype. When somebody clicks uh, on this watch, we're going to drag a connection here and then on tap is correct for the trigger and we will do overlay. All right, so that's gonna overlay. Now, for some reason, when this happens, you have to go back here into the design section, select it, make sure appearance is ticked on. All right, so let's see if that works. Go ahead and click watch. There we go, look at that. And you could probably also adjust um, some other things about this. For instance, overlay, uh, Let's make sure we have this clicked correctly right here. Um, so you can see the animation is dissolve. Um, you could change the duration, easing all that good stuff. Um, so let's also say that after a few seconds um, or on tap, I, th I couldn't get it to work automatically after a few seconds, so I, I think I made it tap. It'll transition to a new artboard um, that has a video as well. So let's go here to design. I'm going to replicate this. So for this one, it'll just be a black screen and 100% opacity. And then we'll have another Lottie, or not a Lottie animation, but just a video graphic. And again, this is a video itself. Um, I just copied it from another artboard off screen. And this will play automatically as well. This is from Pexels, it's a really cool video. And for our prototyping, we'll just make this so that on I click, I think there's already a trigger. Oh, there's already a trigger there, so that's why it's doing that to me. Let's click on that. So on tap, it's just gonna go here to, um, not previous artboard, but maybe we'll do auto animate. 
and we'll choose this one right here, which is this one. And there we go. So now we'll click play. We'll click watch. And there we go. And then perhaps if this is on click, it'll go back to this page. I'll tap auto animate. There we go. One last time just to show you how cool all of this is, really is with these Lottie animations and videos. There we go. Awesome, awesome stuff. All right, everybody, hopefully you enjoyed that. If you did, make sure to leave a comment, subscribe, check out designcourse.com, and I will see you all very soon. Goodbye.